please don't hurt me. Well, would you look at that? It seems you got a real comedian here, a real George Carlin. You think you're funny, boy? God damn it. What's that, boy? You gotta answer an officer when he speaks to you. Seems you're guilty. And just what's he guilty of, Officer Lorik? It seems someone is breaking the biggest rule of whack town. And don't expose what is capable of generating feelings. My face? Are you referring to my face? It seems this prick is smarter than he appears to be. I bet he's conspiring a whole bunch of sinister plots. That's what you get when you expose emotions. Sick piece of shit! Showing his feelings. I hope you can just set him straight. You don't run amok naked in my town. You don't face this place. Idiot. Lennox, go untie Vilk from that tree there. We got another prisoner to bring in.
That kid was crying so much, man. Oh, man, you should've been about more. <laughs> I know. Man, I don't care, man. I have no regrets. <laughs> Look who it is. Hey, I don't know if you realize, man, but this is no homo. Shut the hell up, Buzz! You stupid asshole! I'm sorry, is there, a, is there a problem here, Fairy? Did you put this on my locker? Idiot! Anyone could have put that in your locker, but I got their point. I know it was you, Buzz. You're the only goddamn ignoramus in this entire school to push me around because I'm gay. Sick and tired of this abuse! Abuse? I don't abuse you. <laughs> but I bet you like it. You'd like it if I put a pin on your chair and you sat on it. <laughs> Fuck you, Buzz! I do not deserve to be pushed around like this. You have no right! Right? You don't deserve a right. I deserve a right. You have a right to no one's respect. Real queer. This ends now. I can't control the stupidity that goes to that coconut-shaped head of yours. Just keep it to yourself. Leave me alone. Just screw off, man. Like, I don't want to hear your queenie voice. I hate the fact that you exist. Yeah, side profile is fine. Side profile is fine. Alright, no, I think I changed my mind. Just kind of like, just just pretend you're, pretend you're doing something. Like, act sad. Or, or not, or not. Definitely do not pose like that ever again. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but you are not doing the things I'm asking you to do. Okay, now you can just stop trying to be funny, Stanley. Um, I'm just wondering, do you need a cue to begin, or what? Patience is a virtue, Stanley. Calm down, just trying to make it perfect. By all means, Clyde, take your time. What's your photo I said about anyways? I told you like a million times. Or maybe you didn't bother to listen a million times. Oh. It's a story about a boy. A boy who's been having a very, very miserable day. And in this miserable day, he finds himself at odds with, well, himself. Now, in this reality he drifts into, reality has been blended with nightmare. Now he's in a nightmare. Yet, things go from bad to worse, and life to him is distant. And the whole world has gone foreign. Foreign as in different and mysterious. And yet he's all he's entered too quickly. And when you enter too quickly, it's like a harder way of getting out. You're understanding that, right? Well, the moral of it all is doors close quicker than they open. So if we would sum this all up, trapped? Like against my own will. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I managed I managed to speak with Owen. Wow, that's something worth knowing. To be honest, I didn't understand them much. He kept rambling on about some place. What place? 
told me a story about some someone called Wacktown. What's Wacktown? When you were little, didn't your parents ever tell you to hold their hands slightly? Or else you would end up in Wacktown or something? No. My parents would come up with something better. Well, whatever. They're just kids' stories. You used to scare them. They don't do anything wrong. And... He's rambling about that. Listen, if that's actually the reason why Owen's been staying home, then I'd say he needs a head doctor ASAP. Eighteen. Both with slashed throats. What a shame. But at least you know Vilk's using his time wisely. Never a dull moment for him. This isn't his first victim here. Reports lead us to believe he's also responsible for two different murders and possibly a rape. So we got a real sicko out there. This place isn't fit for him. We should go possibly find stuff out from his peers. Stay here. Keep an eye on the police. I'll go question. Affirmative. 